Good morning to you. I am Mark Suddeth, and here's what's up in the tropics. It is Saturday, the 6th day of August 2022. As I was pointing out the last couple of days, the Saharan air layer starting to lift a little bit more to the north, and as such, it has begun to open up a little bit of a gateway for the possibility of some development out here. We can see that too on the precipitable water animation. All of those oranges that you see there, that is extending up, getting close now to 20 degrees north latitude, a little bit less in the way of dry, dusty air. It's not completely gone, don't get me wrong, this isn't the perfect setup, but it has certainly improved over what we have seen through the month of July, and as we have gone through these first few days of August, conditions have become a little bit more favorable, and as such, global computer models generally in agreement that something could try to develop out in the tropical Atlantic here over the next few days and the National Hurricane Center reflecting that with low probabilities right now, about a 20% chance of development, but I think that could go up in the next few days as this area of the Atlantic becomes a little bit more conducive for a tropical wave to develop. In the Eastern Pacific, we have an area off the coast of Mexico that's well on its way to developing into the next tropical storm out that way. It should remain well enough off the coast of Mexico, including the Baja, to be of little concern there. Meanwhile, in the Central Pacific, we don't see this very often, an area of disturbed weather uh, forecast to potentially develop a little bit more over the coming days, remaining to the uh, well to the south of Hawaii, so no worries if you're heading out there. Just an interesting note that the Pacific stays very busy here, at least the eastern side of the Pacific. All right, so looking at Africa, there's the impulse right there, about a day or so uh, from moving into the eastern Atlantic where conditions should be a little bit more favorable for development. Water temperatures warm enough, the atmosphere a little bit more moist, the air converging and rising, and as such, things might be coming together that we get a named storm out of it in the next few days. I'll show you that in just a moment on the GFS output. You can see it right there just coming into the shot on the right-hand side of the uh, satellite animation this morning. The rest of the Atlantic, uh, nice and quiet right now, an upper-level area of low pressure spinning between Bermuda and the southeastern United States. We'll have to watch this area as well. After about a week's time frame, some of the models indicating potential development off the southeast coast of the United States, but that's beyond the five-day time frame that we find most reliable, but something to keep in mind, especially since we are in August and conditions could change fairly quickly, even with just a few days' notice. All right, so the GFS, this is the 6Z run. There's our system right there, the GFS fairly aggressive with it coming in off the coast of Africa, sliding south of the Cabo Verde Islands and developing into a bona fide tropical system. Would it be a tropical storm? Yeah, perhaps. And we can see that reflected too in the moisture pattern. Still some browns there, that's the dry air, but look at all that green and it's got that overall shape. It looks like a developing storm. And in fact, the air pressure gets down to about 990 millibars, according to the global forecast system operational. That's what we're looking at here. Um, so we'll see, you know, several days to watch this. No worries as it slides on off to the west. We will have plenty of time to monitor and see what happens with this. I do think it's interesting that if it does go on to develop, and by the way, if it does get named, it would be Danielle. Uh, we're up to the D storm if it does happen, that this would occur before the August 20th typical flip of the switch that we see. That's pretty much a solid benchmark in history around August 20th. Anytime after August 20th, you would fully expect to see development out this way. So anything that happens pre-August 20th, I think is an indication that the season could be quite busy, which is what is forecast. You know, the latest uh, updates to the forecast did reduce the numbers a little bit, but we're only talking a little bit. You know, still looking at a very, very busy season ahead. And I do believe this could be a harbinger of that over the next few days. So something to watch, and I will do just that. All right, have a great rest of your Saturday. As always, thanks for tuning in to What's Up in the Tropics. I am Mark Suttoth. I'll be back with more for you tomorrow.